If you're planning to become an AWS solution architect, or I should say cloud architect, probably you are making some mistakes and that could be the reason your career is not growing. And if it is not growing, we are going to discuss in detail what is the right roadmap, if I may, that you have to follow to become an AWS cloud architect. Okay, first thing first, let's talk what is the salary you make as a cloud solution? I should say AWS cloud architect. So on an average, again, this I have taken from Glassdoor. You can see the starting salary is around 3 lakh rupees. This is obviously for people who are freshers. On an average in India, as a cloud, uh, I would say uh, AWS cloud architect, you make around 7 lakh rupees per annum. But if we talk about a professional person who has a right experience, right set of skill set, they make around 19 lakh rupees per annum so you can understand if you want to reach to this particular location you have to follow the right roadmap and in this video we are going to discuss in detail if i may with the help of certification what are the right steps you are supposed to take okay so what is the number one certification you should be getting in this aws cloud architect roadmap if i may the first certification is cloud practitioner now we have another video where we are discussing how you can become a developer. Obviously, this is the fundamental certification you need to have. This is going to actually test your basic skills, if I may. So this is going to test the basics of AWS, if I may, as a whole cloud. This is important because this is going to be the starting point. If you don't have this certification, this simply means that you don't have the understanding of AWS as well as what is cloud computing. So. If you're a student right now, you have to, first of all, take this certification, which is AWS Cloud Practitioner. So if you have some question and obviously you need the instant answer. So what I would suggest you go to the like whatever platform you're using, you can go to that particular platform and you can use this hashtag of Hey Skill Nagar and someone from our team is going to respond to your queries irrespective of that platform. The second certification obviously is going to be Solution Architect Associate. Please understand this is associate level certification. This certification you should try after 18 months of having experience in AWS. For a very specific reason, this is not an easy certification. This is not an easy certification to grab because once you're going to get it, you are going to become one of the I would say expert in this industry. So you have to understand AWS is not going to give you this certification at like uh, in very simple or I should say easy manner. So you have to understand that you have to take this certification. And I would say around 18 months of experience, if you have with AWS uh, infrastructure, that would be good for you. The third certification, I would say it is optional, but this is going to actually help you if you get it. Try to understand this is AWS Developer Associate. Now, if you are coming from non-IT background, in that case, you may skip, but I would not suggest that you should skip because obviously this is the list which I have discussed with the professionals and they have told me actually what is the right way of doing it, what is the correct roadmap. But again, if you want to skip it, you can skip it. But if you have the programming knowledge, if you're coming from IT, do not skip this certification, grab this certification. This is going to tell the person who is obviously going to take your interview sort of a thing. This is going to help them understand that you can build solution in AWS cloud. Very important, very important because if you are looking at a multinational company, they are not looking to hire 15 different people for 15 different roles. They're looking for hiring someone who is a single person who can get the job of 15 people done. So you have to understand this certification is going to give you the actual boost which is required for your career journey. Next certification in our journey is SysOps Administrator Associate. A lot of people will actually comment here and they will say, Avinash, this is not required. This is not what you're supposed to do. You can simply jump to the professional level certification. But here I'm talking about becoming an expert. I'm talking about becoming an expert in this cloud of AWS. I'm not talking about being a beginner. I'm not talking about being an intermediate. I'm talking about being an expert. An expert is someone who does not have the range of certification, but also has the set of skills which are outside his parameter or maybe sort of an understanding. So I would suggest that next certification you should be going for is SysOps Administrator Associate. This is going to actually help you manage your infrastructure 
and help your client or customers manage their infrastructure quite easily because you have the required skill set. Now, I want to mention one thing. These are not easy certification because if you're going to become an expert, that is not something everyone is going to become. So you have to understand, you have to actually have some good understanding. What I would suggest that if you want to get this kind of a certification, I would say you should have at least 18 to 24 months of deep down experience in AWS cloud. An expert is someone who knows how to build something and how to save that thing. Obviously, if you're going to build something, someone is going to come and destroy that. So you're not going to become an expert unless you have this AWS security speciality. This is the fifth certification. And I would say that this is recommended. This is recommended. You must do this certification for a very simple reason. Companies, as I've mentioned, they are not looking to hire 15 people. They are looking to hire one person. But the problem here is, if you know how to make your infrastructure secure, you're going to actually give that infrastructure the required boost in the unexpected times. The times when your application infrastructure would be tested. So you have to understand this thing. So when you get this kind of a certification, which is security speciality, it signifies that whatever is happening in the AWS infrastructure, you are following the guidelines which are provided by AWS plus the industry standard. So whatever industry standard is there is being followed in the infrastructure or I should say the architect which you have built. The final certification in our list is AWS Solution Architect Professional. Now, obviously, some people can say I can go for cloud practitioner, then I can go for solution architect associate, then I can go for solution architect professional. That is the simplest way of doing it. But obviously, I would say if you're looking for sort of an intermediate level of job, you're not looking to excel yourself, you're not looking to actually give a career boost, which you are dreaming of. In that case, you can follow this step. But if you're not looking for that kind of a thing, I would say that you should be following these steps, which I have shown you. Now, when we talk about solution architect professional, it signifies that you have the required set of expertise, not skills, expertise for boosting yourself, helping your client, helping your customer manage their infrastructure or architect or solution, if I may, like as per your language, as efficiently as possible. This does not only signify like how you are going to build the infrastructure, but how you are going to help the client save money also, how you, how the permissions are going to be managed in the infrastructure, or I should say in the cloud. So everything is going to be managed here. Now, obviously a lot of people would be confused. Okay, there are six certification, which are going to take almost four years for me to get the certification done and then gain, gain the required expertise. But I'm a beginner right now. What are the right steps I should take? In that case, what I would be suggesting that obviously you have to start learning the cloud because if this is not even day one for you today right now, it is going to get very difficult for you because these certification require some expertise and obviously there are good chances that you may even fail because these certification require 70% or I should say 70% is the passage. If you don't get this score of 70%, 700, again, that depends upon various exams to exams, but you have to understand if you don't clear this passing mark sort of a thing, you're not going to get this. So that is it for this video. I just want to understand if you have any confusion, any doubt, put them in the comment. If you need a career guidance, obviously in that case, there is a link in the description of this video or also in the comment section. Click that link, fill in the details and someone from our team will make sure that your career doubt is clear because this is what we stand for. So thank you very much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.